Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 19th, and today was a beautiful day outside, um, rather cold this morning actually. I was kind of freezing my butt off, and then it warmed up nicely, turned out to just be a gorgeous day overall. Got up way too damn early, I don't know what right now, but got up way too early this morning, um, had to get down to the race start. And luckily, it was actually a decent race start. It started like 8 a.m. when the race start was, but you don't want to be late to a race because when you, the later you get there, the worse the parking is, which means the longer the walk is to get to the start, which delays you and pushes you back. But it made it longer walk, so it's just it's a really bad scenario. So we got down the um, race way early. Um, basically, guys got a hotel in that, um, perfect, plenty of time, no big deal. Traffic wasn't bad. Got down there, found a great parking spot. Ironically, parked in the exact same spot that I parked there last year for the IMT, um, my very first full marathon of my life. So, parked the car there where the um, van was parked last year, and just basically was, everything was going good. So it was like I said, it's cold, so I went ahead and had on um, basically two shirts. Well, actually, a shirt, a giant sweater, and then my coat because I knew I was going to be standing around and stuff, and did not want to be freezing my butt off took off with the butt with the friend of mine that went down our stuff to run and they were freezing their butt off and that so we got kind of tucked up into like a little cubby hole like a wall thing in a corner to try and stay out of the wind so they didn't cramp up so bad race went off uh, without a problem at all they took off on their run uh, they were only running the half though so it wasn't going to be a real long wait i'd taken off from the start over to another spot i could kind of cut down to see them kind of cheer for them and stuff they went by, everything was cool. I was right next to a bike rental station. I'm like, that's cool. Des Moines got a bunch of them, I'm like, no big deal. It was like six bucks for the whole day, or I think like 250 for, I think like an hour or something like that, an hour and a half, maybe something in there. So I went ahead and I'm like, cool, no big deal. Did the whole thing, so the card in there is going through the whole computer thing, blah, blah, whatever. Picked out a bike on it, said, this, you know, credit, this credit card is not on file for anything. I'm like, what the hell? Realized I had to register online. I think it's like a week or two in advance or some junk. So I was like, oh, it's great. That's awesome. So went ahead and said piss on that. Um, I was really looking forward to having the bike because it would have made my life a whole lot easier. I could just rode the bike down to a couple other spots and would have been cool. So I said to hell with it. Just grabbed my stuff, headed down the road. Um, basically car I, um, carrying their jacket next. It was going to be cold afterwards and sweaty and stuff. So I wanted something dry and warm to put on. Headed down, um, ended up over by Gray's Lake, and there's a spot where had I got on, had I been on the bike, I would have been able to see him before I hung a right into the Waterworks Park. Didn't happen, no big deal. Um, got there as I came back into Gray's Lake. I was gonna stand the one spot to see him come around Gray's Lake, but it would have been like mile nine, I think, like that, nine and a half from there, and then I would have had to like try and beat them back. And virtually, there's no shortcut really for me to get back to the finish in time. So I went ahead and actually, plus the sun was really bad in that spot. So I headed up the trail, heading back towards the finish. Found a amazing spot to get like a photos or popping up over the hill. Had some weeds in the foreground, had some beautiful, had a beautiful fall tree in the background. Absolutely loving the spot. And I was there taking pictures of that and whatnot. And a couple of women came up and they were standing like on the side of the trail. Not a big deal. But every once in a while, like the woman in the gr bright neon green jacket kept like stepping back into my photo and throwing my autofocus off and blocking the shot and that. I'm like, I kept to myself, it's not that big a deal, it's not that big a deal. And then I finally said, you know, I'm just going to ask her, hey, would you mind standing? Because like every, like I swear, like every five minutes, she would take an extra step back. And then it'd be worse than taking an extra step back. And I was like, would hey, you mind just kind of stepping up here to look close to the trail? You're blocking my shot. I'm set up here by this light pole, this great angle. I found an awesome shot. I come back to my spot. She's like, oh yeah, no problem. Got back to my spot as I was sitting down to like get that kind of up angle, kind of shooting up into them, the great little perfect sunlight, all that crap. And as I just as I spun around, I sat down on my, on my um, coat I, to get the photo, I realized that my runner was basically 20 feet from me and I'd missed the spot and just grabbed my little birds, little, don't hit like three or four photos real quick and they were kind of out of focus and poorly aimed. And I was so pissed off at myself of this, like I'd missed this shot. I'd been like, here this whole time I was like ah so pissed I didn't even like scream and cheer for them so I was like I knew that look on their face they looked like they were in the zone like they were having fun they just climbed the only really big hill on this whole course for the half marathon it wasn't like a really big hill but the biggest hill on the course and they looked like they were having a good run and I could I could feel in my face I was pissed off I didn't want to like yell at them they look at me and see me pissed off and throw them off their run so I didn't yell at them you know to cheer them on there but I'd already done that a couple other spots so I was good there 
and headed back to the finish at that point. I'm like, I better buck that, bust ass to get back there because I wasn't going to beat them because they were obviously running, and it was almost a straight shot back to the finish from where I was at. But they had to go to the finish line. They had to go around the block, around the corner there, and back over and go to the line to get their um, little their food and that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of just a delay you know, in that process every time. So I was able to get over there to the finish uh, before they got finished up, getting all their stuff. So that was cool. Um, they had some food, um, basically hung around and spoke for a few minutes stuff. They're not big hanging out to a marathon, which, or even a half marathon that, so that's cool. So we basically busted butt back to the hotel. And because it was at half, they were able to get cleaned up, made it for a much better drive back home for them. Headed home, um, didn't even really stop in a morning. We didn't, I we had snacks and stuff. I had some trail mix from the race expo the day before that I was trying out. I was like, that's cool. Um, basically headed on home. We actually swung by, got Bruce. Um, that went off great. They loved Bruce. It was amazing. All that good stuff. They uh, had made him actually like a personal like treat with his name on it and stuff. And that's, that was kind of cool. And then basically headed on home. Um, got here in time to drop basically myself off, unload all my stuff. And they booked butt back for Kansas City. And once they got down to Kansas City and stuff, I guess they were doing some, I don't know, they had some stuff with their kids and whatnot and that. So basically they got there. They wanted to be home by 6 and I think I got them there like 10 till 6, so it was cutting it close, but not a big deal. They had a great time, and they did PR their half marathon, so they ran their fastest half marathon of their life, which was awesome. You got to love that, and Des Moines is a good course. It's it's pretty flat, so it's a nice little course there, and like they said, they were really happy with what the course looked like, and the aid station, they were pretty happy with the, just the whole overall race, and then you PR it. It's always a good feeling when you do that, too, so that was pretty much um, my thing. I've just been sitting out here, just been exhausted, been tired. Okay, I yawn a little bit. Oh. Anyway, um, I'm going to basically try and crash and see if I can't get some sleep. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.